welcome to Vlogmas Day 24. So, if you guys are wondering what I'm up to today. I'm actually cleaning up, going through receipts, letters, um, just kind of fixing up um, presents for later this evening. We were supposed to go to mass later this evening, probably like around 8 o'clock. But I don't think that's going to happen anymore because my mom is still sick. Darren has progressively gotten worse um, since yesterday. Yesterday he already wasn't feeling well. Last night he got even worse. So he's really sick right now. Since half of the family is not feeling well, I don't know if we're going to get ready or you know even take pictures. Maybe tomorrow when we go to church, we are going to watch another Redbox movie. Tonight is my choice. We're going to watch Don't Breathe. Hopefully everybody will feel better by the end of this weekend because it is a, a three-day weekend. And it stopped raining. Thank goodness the sun came out today. I mean, last night it was pouring rain i think around like three was it like three o'clock no like 2 a.m it was pouring and i was like oh my gosh it's gonna be a wet and rainy christmas but no thank goodness you know it's bright and sunny before i forget let me give you guys some feedback on suicide squad we were pleasantly surprised with the movie my husband wanted to watch this movie but I know this didn't have the best reviews, a lot of people did not like this movie, but uh, we actually really enjoyed it. I really like Harley Quinn's character. If you guys have seen this, let me know if you guys liked it. If you guys didn't like it, let me know your thoughts. I am currently getting ready for Christmas Eve dinner. We're gonna go pick up the food at, um, at where are we picking it up? Oh, we're picking it up from Wood Ranch in about what time is it six it's almost six o'clock so about 6 30 ish we're leaving currently catching up with what would lizzie vlog hi lizzie if you're watching i'm catching up with her vlogmas vlogs um what day am i on i'm on day number 20 and then um also have been putting away laundry oh, do you guys see that laundry do you guys see that there's more laundry outside in the hallway Oh, let me show you guys the brush holders from the other day. I think I mentioned to you guys I ordered some acrylic brush holders that have a lid. And the other two arrived. So I don't think I showed it to you guys the other day. Here are the brush, the two other brush holders. So these all have a lid. And okay, I could have put the fillers. As you guys can see, there's like a space, right, to put fillers. But I kind of figured why waste the space with fillers? You can put more brushes. So I basically packed everything into the two containers. Like this one is legit, it's packed. Then I have the Luxie Beauty brushes in the front because I just thought they were really pretty, including this one from It Cosmetics. It's a heart shape brush just on the front for display but I really packed all of the brushes in here um, which you don't typically see everybody pack them in there but I wanted everything to fit into these two containers and then in this one I have all of my eye brushes so any eye brushes I just pack them all in this one doesn't have a um oh, hold on a sec the only problem I see with this is that when you close it, like if you pack all of your brushes in here, you might have a problem when you close it because you might accidentally close it on some of the bristles. But a lot of people put the little fillers so that the brushes are standing straight, but I just really wanted to pack them all in here. My vanity is next to the window, so even if I clean my brushes, Sometimes you'll see some of the brush, the bristles have dust on them. Because you definitely don't want to put that on your face when it has dust on it. We are now at Redbox. I completely messed up. And I reserved the movie at the wrong Redbox. And so we had to drive to the next city over, which isn't like that far. It's like five minutes away to pick it up. And then we're going to go pick up the food at a uh, wood ranch. And that red box where I was at earlier was all out of this movie so my husband said this movie better be good because it better be worth the drive. But come on, okay we got our movie for free with the red box points so 
it's a free movie you know what i mean okay anyway let's go pick up the food from wood ranch my husband is currently inside wood ranch he's waiting to pick up our takeout food so i think we have ribs uh chicken two sides and the wood ranch biscuits or bread not biscuits bread which are bomb kind of wanted to update you guys now my husband feels like he's gonna get sick which is not a good thing and then that just leaves two people left my dad and myself are the last two who are not sick in the household so uh, I'm gonna double up triple up on my vitamin C so we have chicken ribs the sauce for the ribs we have wood ranch bread mac and cheese and coleslaw. Merry Christmas fam! Christmas dinner was really good. I think we all kind of like overate. Um, but that's okay because the last time we had Wood Ranch, my mother-in-law was in town and that was, that was probably like a little over a year ago, I think. So it's been a while. But I'm gonna get some coffee because I'm gonna finish putting away the laundry because it's like literally all over the bed and then after that we're gonna watch the movie we're gonna watch don't breathe I wanted to quickly share with you guys what my husband and Darren got me for Christmas it was a very like chill Christmas Eve um, I was telling you guys earlier my mom's sick Darren is sick my husband is starting to feel sick and then while I was putting the laundry away earlier after dinner, my nose started like running. And I was like, oh no, oh hell no, I hope I don't get sick. Okay, anyway, on to my gift from my husband and Darren. And they got me, this is like free gift with purchase. If you guys see the brand, I think you guys know what it is. And it is a Foreo. Ah! I am so happy that I have the full size because this is the Foreo Luna Mini 2. So I was using this one, the Foreo, um, which I purchased like a couple months ago from Ulta. But when I purchased this, I didn't know that this only has about a hundred uses. It's you can't charge it, you can't replace the batteries, then you have to kind of toss it, which I didn't know until like a couple weeks out of using this and I really 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 like this I absolutely like I saw a huge difference in my skin if you guys watched the past um, past like a week or so of vlogmas my skin has been looking pretty terrible and to be honest with you I think it's because I stopped using this I mean I still use it but it doesn't have the sonic uh, vibrations and honestly my skin texture right now just looks like crap it looks really bad if you have to choose between this or this i would say save up for this one because this is such a waste you have to like toss it when you're done so it is the very last day of the 24 days of tea from david's tea and we are on the very very last day which is day number 24. i i am so sad to be opening this drawer because 24 days of tea is done. Milk chocolate advent calendar will be completed this evening. And tomorrow is the last day of Vlogmas. Even though Vlogmas technically will be over tomorrow on the 25th, we still will be going strong with our weekly vlogs, which, um, you know, we post once a week. So just a little FYI. Go ahead and open day number 24. And what is day number 24? So this is what day number 24 looks like. Yeah, what is that? Oh, it has candy canes. Is that candy canes? It looks like it. Santa's secret. <laughs> Let's read the ingredients for Santa's secret. Sorry, I have like hair it's in my mouth. There we go. Okay, so ingredients for Santa's secret. Black tea, peppermint sprinkles, sugar, rice flour, partially hydrogen, hydrogenated vegetable oil, cornstarch, natural and artificial flavors, cellulose scum, red 40 lake, mono and diglycerides, carrageenan, titanium dioxide color, polysorbate, natural and artificial vanilla flavoring. 
Okay, so let's see what Santa's secret is all about. Today's mug is going to be Minnie. I haven't used her in a very long time, it seems. Ooh, this smells good. Peppermint. Mmm. I'm not sure what else I'm smelling in here. Let's go ahead and open the very last door for our milk chocolate advent calendar. Day number 24. Let's see, what is day number 24? And it's Santa! And what kind of chocolate we have? Oh, that's cute! It's a heart! That's nice. A heart from Santa. I kind of wanted to do a recap of the teas that I really enjoyed from hashtag 24 days of tea. I would definitely recommend hot chocolate. I would recommend um, coffee cake, a strawberry rhubarb parfait, bear trap, cardamom french toast, English toffee, and I think that was it. I think those are the ones that I would recommend to you guys. Overall, I think the 24 days of tea is such an awesome way to try out different teas for the 24 days of um... <gasps> you were such an <gasps> I don't know if you guys just saw that, but my husband tried to creep up on me and tried to scare me and I always get like freaked out because I'm looking at the viewfinder and like there's nobody else down here with me <laughs> so yeah he got me pretty good even though he didn't scare me I just turned around and I saw like a dark shadow somebody wearing all gray <laughs> so yeah and I just want to thank Alexis Hassan here on YouTube I'm gonna link her channel down below um, for introducing me to David's tea because I am definitely going to be purchasing some teas from here and um, I think you guys will be seeing me for the next month or so drinking the rest of the teas that are um, that are in here. I basically only put about half of the tea. I really enjoyed opening every drawer of the 24 days of tea and I just highly recommend it. So let's go ahead and put back day number 24. It says happy holidays. There you go, and there's the completed image of the 24 days of tea. That's cute! Let's go ahead and try it. Mmm, mm-hmm. Black tea. <laughs> A bit of peppermint. I like how it's very subtle. It's not like a strong peppermint um, flavor. I'm very pleased with Santa's Secret, so I would definitely also recommend this one if it is available during the holiday season. Let's go ahead and eat our milk chocolate little heart. I think that's how I'm going to go ahead and end Vlogmas Day 24. We are going to watch the movie I chose at Redbox, which is Don't Breathe. So I think the rest of the night, I'm just gonna kind of chill with the fam, spend quality time because it is Christmas. It is 11 minutes to Christmas, officially. So just wanna wish you guys a very, very Merry Christmas. I'm giving you guys a big, big, huge hug right now. Giving you guys a big virtual hug. Huge virtual hug. Merry Christmas, you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching Vlogmas Day 24. And we will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 25. Merry Christmas!